Hey you guys, how are you doing? So I'm taking a little uh, quick ride. I gotta go to Lowe's. I gotta get a little water aerator. Air, 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 However the heck you say that. But I gotta get that for one of the bathrooms. So I gotta take a quick ride to Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know, whichever one. Lowe's is actually first, but I guess whichever one I end up getting to. Uh, so, uh, I got a new camera. I've got the, as you can see down there, the GoPro Hero 8. And I, I figure I'll play around with it a little bit. I got the session up here right now, but I'll mix it up. I'll take that and put it up here for a little bit later on. But just kind of playing around with the, with some angles and kind of moving it around and just trying to do something a little bit different, you know. Just for the fun of it, this guy's out here smoking some meat, it looks like. So I'm just trying to do something a little bit different. Just having a little bit of fun. Um, I got the Sony on eBay. And I saw that GoPro came out with this new Hero 8. And, you know, I I was pretty impressed with the, I mean, I was impressed with the stability of the Hero 7. But I kind of wasn't really ready to upgrade just yet. So I figured I would maybe just hold off a little bit and uh, I'd wait a while. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go back to GoPro. I was pretty happy with my Sony, I would say. And I started kind of, I was using my little external remote, my external recorder to record. And I would kind of move the Sony around and some other, other little places, just mainly because, um, you know just for the fun of it just to just trying something different you know sometimes I was recording here on the side and I was doing that for a few videos and uh, I used to record back in the day with the front view like you see here and uh, I just figured you know what I was like maybe you know sometimes you just got to kind of change it up you know you just got to try and change it up and try and do something a little bit different and you know that usually that usually can't hurt so I figured why not do that one of the things I was kind of on the fence about was not so much spending the money on the GoPro because I knew that I could sell the I could sell the uh, the Sony and pretty much get most of that money back so that wasn't really uh, what I would call a big worry or as some would probably call it. I didn't really find that to be a huge worry or something to really uh, ponder much but it was mainly just hoping that the dang camera would function decently because I've seen that some people were having some people were having some issues with the Hero 7 and well I really didn't want to have those issues so yeah so I figured you know what I would do this I would go this route I'll try out the new Hero 8 I'm mean, hoping that I have good luck with it you know I know a lot of guys that use it like Bronco Ride I've never heard Bronco Ride complain about it my buddy uh, my buddy Riding Country has one. He has the Hero 7 now. Don't mind you, just Bronco Ride also. They have the Hero 7. And I've never heard them complain about it. Get out the way, squirrel. I've never heard them complain about it. Uh, well, Riding Country, he's been having some shut-off issues with his. That, um, that I know about. And he's, been, and he's been saying that. That he's been having some shut-off issues. Well... Listen, I'm just hoping I don't have any problems. You know, I kind of gave up on GoPro, but then I got this Session 5, and I really love my Session 5. I, I really, really love this camera. But anyhow, uh, just that's just a short vid, little short chat. Uh, to change the view up here, as you can see, and I hope you guys enjoy. Just taking a little ride here before going to work. Not riding to work today because it's gonna be like freaking 30 something degrees. Oh man, can you imagine? 
you know it's crazy one day I rode the Buell up this way coming out through here I was trying to get it running and uh, the battery died on me and I couldn't I couldn't get it started for nothing this light's gonna be a while yeah so one day I rode the Buell out this way it was just going for a little joy ride I, and I was like man I want to take the Buell out and I got up there and oh my god it shut off on me and I had to push it up that long hill and then turn around and try to <laughs> ride it like uh, coast it back down and get it to start again but man I tell you I could not get it to start but then I ended up getting it to start and once I did man I just took off I was like whoop, whoop, just took off <laughs> And when I got back to, uh, and it died pretty much almost a mile away from my house. So what I ended up having to have to do, I had to, uh, I had to push it for one mile all the way home. 400 pound bike, man. I'm telling you, man, pushing a 400 pound bike ain't fun. I don't know if anybody's ever tried it, but pushing that sucker for a mile and I had this Tourmaster uh, Transition 3 jacket on too. Oh my god, it was horrible, bro. It was horrible. I was like, you know, I was like, that is something that I can promise you I do not want to do again. So anyhow, I thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, remember, hey, you can check me out on Facebook post a link here below and you can find a link in the description I go over I go on Facebook as the best one A's ride and I also go on Instagram as the best one a underscore ride the best one A's underscore ride yeah you can feel free to check me out well, I thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch up with you y'all stay safe out there keep your head on the swivel and always watch out because you just never know.